Hello everyone, it's me Lancer737 and today we're going to be doing the daily reading of August 9, 2023. First reading is going to be of Wednesday of the 18th week in Ordinary Time. First reading numbers 13, 1 through 2, 25 uh, through 14, 1, 26A through 29A, 34 through 35. It's going to be a lot, but it's important. So here we go. The Lord said to Moses in the desert of Haran, send me... Sorry, sorry. Send men to reconnoiter the land of Canaan, which I am giving the children of Israel. You shall send one man from each ancestral tribe, all of them princes. After reconnoitering the land for 40 days, they returned, met Moses and Aaron and the whole congregation of the children of Israel in the desert of Paran at Kadesh, made a report to them all and showed the fruit of their country. To the whole congregation, they told Moses, We went into the land to which you sent us. It, did, it does indeed flow with milk and honey, and here is its fruit. However, the people who are living in the land are fierce, and the towns are fortified and very strong. Besides, we saw descendants of the Canaan there, the Amalekites, live in the region of the Najib, Najib Hittites, Jebusites, and Amorites dwell in the highlands, and the Canaanites along the seacoast and the banks of Jordan. Caleb, however, to quiet the people towards Moses, said, We ought to go up and seize the land, for we can certainly do so. But the men who had gone up with them said, We cannot attack these people. They are too strong for us. So they spread discouraging reports among the children of Israel. About the land they had scouted as saying, The land that we explored is a country that consumes its inhabitants. And all the people we saw there are huge, uh, veritable giants. The Anakim were a race of giants. We felt like mere grasshoppers, and so we must have seemed to them. At this, the whole community broke out with loud cries, and even at the night the people wailed. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, how long will this wicked assembly grumble against me? <clears throat> I have heard the grumblings of the children of Israel against me. Tell them by my life, says the Lord, I will do to you uh, sorry, I will do to you just what I have heard you say. Here in the desert you shall you shall your dead bodies fall. Forty days you spent in scouting the land, forty days shall you suffer for your crimes, one year for each day. Thus you, you will realize what it means to oppose me. I, the Lord, have sworn to do this to all the wicked assembly that conspired against me. Here is the desert. They shall die to the last man. Remember us, O Lord, as your favor, you people. I don't know why I can't talk today. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. We have sinned and we and we have sinned and we and our fathers. We have committed crimes. We have done wrong. Our fathers in G Egypt, consider not your wonders. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. But soon they forgot the, his works. They waited not for his counsel. They gave way to craving in the desert and tempted God in the wilderness. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They forgot the God who had saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham. Terrible things at the Red Sea. Remember us, O Lord, as, your, as you favor your people. Then he spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, his chosen one, withstood him in the breach to turn back his destructive wrath. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Alleluia, alleluia. <clears throat> A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. Alleluia, alleluia. And the final uh, gospel today is the gospel of Matthew fifteen twenty one through 28. At this time, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Cantonite woman of the district came and called out, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But he did not say a word in answer to her. His disciples came and asked him, Send her away, for she keeps calling out after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did him homage, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, <clears throat> It is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. 
She said, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was held. <clears throat> Excuse me, man. My throat's all messed up. And her daughter was healed from that hour. We're seeing, I mean, uh, only reading the first passage, you wouldn't see the, the mercy God gives. But um, what it's pointing to is like he had shown, not only had he helped them multiple times in their greatest need, he was upset with them for not thinking they would back him up. I'm sorry, that he would not back them up in taking land. <clears throat> Um, and going through a different text from Genesis, a lot of the things like the giants themselves are an abomination brought out about by a demonic influence. So a lot of the stuff isn't clear cut if you haven't read any of the other books in the Bible and, and know what's going on. But like he was just very displeased with them that, again, they... They acted like either they had no faith in him anymore or they just were not going to do as he said. But as Jesus shows here, he will help everyone. You have to follow him and acknowledge that he is our Lord and Savior. He is. He came down here for us and died for our sins and showed us the way. <clears throat> It's just amazing what he's done for us. Anyway, peace be with you all and have a blessed day.